Let me say this, there is no school of learning that will replace home training. There is no school, forget it, sir. Hi guys, this is a maker Anselm. And truthfully, many parents have misplaced their priority when it comes to training their children. I really hope that this message by God's servant, Bishop David Oyelipo, will revive that situation and put them right back on course. Listen and be blessed. Let me say this, there is no school of learning that will replace home training. There is no school, forget it, sir. We are now in days where people send even primary school children abroad. As what? As what? So they are not even in touch with the meaning of life. Because the teacher only comes to class 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 4, 8. Goodbye. Go home. I'm going to see my children. <laughs> Everybody will bear his own body. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. My grandmother will say, those who don't sit up today, don't become masters tomorrow. As small as I was, I picked it. You can't find me on the street going, except on a mission. When you walk, you are added to experience. That's led to a great future. I had it. Please wake up. It's not, it's not the way it is. Anymore. There are too many strangers out on the street. Too many strangers. Small, small boys holding guns. And they don't have any training at home. They would read to their training. And they say, hey, my God. Don't have to. Can I tell you where the passion for Covenant University came? We got someone and took him to um, Arrow. And one statement was made by those who went. Well, we don't have any best space because young people are brought back home every day, mentally delayed because of drugs. Say, Jesus, are we destroying the future of our nation? That's how we take so hard matters on drug at Covenant. We have the testing kits. They test you, you have it. No discussion. No mention. Why? They were not equipped at home. They have no sense of values. And they told them to go and meet those two that don't have any sense of value. So they joined them. But none of your children, sir, if any of them is outside the country, please organize highly structured instructions that goes to them every time because only God can bend a dry fish without breaking it. The moment this stage is passed, it's passed. The moment this stage is passed, it's passed. For those who are just coming up to build their families, this is what it is. Wake up and build one. Wake up and build one. Can I tell you this? Neither my wife nor myself was involved in the marriage of any of our children. That this is who to marry, this is not who to marry. Never one of us decided which course and program they should run in school. They were made responsible. Made responsible. Service with books and instructions. Life. Some are carrying 40 year old babies on their laps. You think that's success? That's blatant failure. Blatant failure, God forbid. Somebody's story is changing. You know, there are some students here at Covenant that can't come from Mekeja here on their own. 
They have to carry them. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Now, we know Samuel to be an anointed one. We are told none of his words fell to the ground. From a child, he was hearing the voice of God. 4 Samuel 3, 19. But we saw this record in 4 Samuel 8, verse 1 to 3. And it came to pass when Samuel was old, that he made his sons judges over Israel. Now the name of his first son was Joel, the name of the other second is Abia, and they were judges in Beersheba. And his sons walked not in his ways, but turned aside after money, and took bribes, and perverted judgment. Then all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel, unto Ramah. Wait a minute. Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king. We can't, we can't survive this. To judge over us like other nations. Hmm. But the thing is, please, Samuel, when they said, give us a king. Because you didn't look after them. Give us a king. You mean you don't know? Give us a king. That terminated the reign of priesthood in Israel. Now, hear what God said to them, to some, and the Lord said to some, hearken unto their voice. Shotan, hearken to them. Don't you know your sons are not doing well? Hearken to them. They are carrying bread all, all over town. Hearken to them. Amen. That terminated the reign of priesthood in Israel. No one here will end his journey regret. Yeah. When we are grown up, they always say that children of pilot, uh, uh, you know, pastors are always wayward. No. It depends on what you put into each one of them. It's not only pastors, children of uh, managing directors, managers, civil servants, uh, or civil servants. So you saw Eli and you saw Samuel. We must take responsibility in giving timely instruction, correction, and rebuke to our children. You know, children nowadays want to have their ways because you allowed it. Praise God. You allowed it. Timely before it's too late. Timely before it's too late. They that seek me early shall find me. Seek the Lord when he may be found. Call upon him when he's near. Isaiah 55 verse 6. Timely instructions. Timely corrections. Timely rebukes. Timely. Timely. 